Hi folks, uh, I am Mr. Davis, I'm your local statistics uh, tutor. Today we're going to look at a uh, statistics question and uh, the problem states that uh, we're trying to develop a point estimate of the mean fan rating for the population of NFL games to two decimal places and part B is to develop a point estimate of the standard deviation for the population of NFL games to four decimal places. Now, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at what is given. And it says the NFL poll fans to develop a rating for each football game. Each game is rated on a scale from 1, from 0, forgettable, to 100, memorable. The fan rating for a random sample of 12 games follows the following. Okay, and right there is the data. Now, for part A, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define what a point estimate is. A point estimate is a single value estimate for a population parameter. And for this question, the most unbiased point estimate of the population mean mu is the sample mean, x bar. Now mu is the population symbol for mu, and x bar is the symbol for sample mean. Now, step two, we're going to use a formula for x bar. Now, x bar is the sum of x divided by n. Now, what is the sum of x? Well, the sum of x is just the sum of the data. Okay, we take each point and we add them up. So the sum of x would be 814. Now, step four would be find n. Well, n was given for us 12 games. Step five, we're going to calculate what x bar is. Now, x bar is the sum of x over n, which is 814 over 12, which we calculate to 67.83. Now, this answers the question, what is a point estimate for the mean band rating for the population of NFL games to do decimal places? So the point estimate of the mean band rating for the population of NFL games to two decimal places is 67.3. So that's the answer to part A. Now, for part B, we're going to do standard deviation. So again, the best point of estimate for the population standard deviation is a sample standard deviation, which is S. Now, in order to find S, you need to find S squared. Now, we do have a formula for S squared, which is this which is the sum of x squared minus the sum of x over squared over m and divided by m minus 1. Now, the, the formula seems complicated, but it really isn't if you just find the different, different parts. So I'm going to find the three different parts that I need. I need the sum of x squared, the sum of x, and n. So the sum of x squared, we're going to take each data point and we're going to square it, and then we're going to add them up. So the sum of x squared in this case is 58,684. The next part is the sum of x. Now we just calculated that in part A, and that's 814. And we also found that n is 12. So I have these three different parts. And so I look at the formula, and I drop the parts that I found. And so the sum of x is 58684 minus 814 squared divided by 12 divided by 12 minus 1. Now be careful when you put this into your calculator. You want to put this first, press enter, and then divide by 11 to get this. Now this is variance. So we, we don't want variance when we want standard deviation. Now to find standard deviation, we just take the square root of the variance. So that's 315.2424. And when we take the square root of that, that's 17.7551. So this is the point estimate for the population standard deviation, uh, which is 17.7551 to four decimal places. So uh, if we go back, I think we've answered A and B. A is 67.83, and B is 17.7551. Hi, I'm Mr. Davis. Uh, I'm your local statistics uh, tutor. 
Um, I hope I've answered this question to the best of my ability. And... Uh,